did you finish your GCSEs? Yeah, so I did my GCSEs and then I went to a different school to do my A-levels. Okay, what was school within Gloucester, yeah? Yeah, yeah, St. Peter's I went to. And then I was doing my sciences for A-levels. And during that time, it's kind of when I really found out I'm an asylum seeker. Because um, when I applied to university, I got in, I got a place to study, but I couldn't start university because you can't get student finance if you're an asylum seeker. Flatly, you can't get it? No, no, unless um, you can pay for the degree yourself. Which, you know, it's yeah, which is impossible, student, yeah. 21 grand a year. Yeah. <laughs> so so what, what's the, what, what was the working situation then during this period? Because obviously your, your parents had a very useful, you know, sort of set of skills. Yeah. yeah. So again, when, when you come over, you can't work until you get your refugee status. Um, if you're an asylum seeker, you're not allowed to work. You're not allowed to work? No. So we had ID IDs saying employment prohibited. So... <laughs> <laughs> so that seems fucking mental. You've got two doctors that would yeah. be willing to yeah. work, even if they had to do maybe some sort of, I don't know, top up or something just to make sure it was up to UK standard. I don't know how it works, but but it seems absolutely mental to say that you know, you got two people that are highly educated yeah. and willing to work and willing but, to work, but weren't allowed. Yeah. So that whole time then, so your parents for 15 years, I assume you got asylum all at the same time. Yeah. So for 15 years, they couldn't work no. and they lived off, like you said, like, five pounds a day. Yeah. For that whole time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it, honestly, like looking at it now, now that I'm working and I'm you know, earning a bit of money, that I don't, I can't imagine how I did that back then. Yeah. And, you know, thankful to my parents, they never let us feel too, you know, too needy. And, and thanks to the community in Gloucester, the church were amazing. They're, they've always supported us from day one. 